Hello and welcome to Play vs Spring 2022 Cup. It's the Rhode Island State Championships here. I'm Solar, joined by Swaces, and we are here to crown a champion. One oh. of two teams will come out of this series and qualify for the Play vs Cup. In this one, we have Cougar Gold and LHS Rocket League standing, waiting. Swaces, how are you feeling about this one? Oh, come on. Like, what I'm looking towards, okay, is that you have LHS RL. Not just LHS RL, A. we got to just take into account that one little A. That makes all the difference here, Solar. And the fact that it is, it is making that much of a difference might also affect how the Cougar Golds go about this series. But I'm interested to see what your thoughts are on how it is all going to go. Uh, it's going to it's gonna be a very, very difficult ask, I think, for Cougar Gold. Um, I've, from what research I've been able to do, LHS look like a strong enough team to um, champion players. And even uh, Noir, who's Diamond 3 at the moment, it's Diamond 3, Div 4 currently. So I'm talking like right on the line of, of champion um, standard player. So... I could only find information about Bella. It's it's not for me to, to determine what to expect from Cougar Goal, but that's that's part of the excitement, isn't it, Swayze? It's oh, just yeah. Not knowing what to expect, but immediate goal off the kickoff. Well, LHS getting themselves nice and early up and ahead. That's a little bit awkward for the Cougar Golds there on the backboard. And also down below, they couldn't really seem to sort themselves out enough to push that ball anywhere close to safety. And straight away, Johnny Walker is the first man on the scene and he gets the first goal of this series. Johnny Walker, to my understanding anyway, would be the name that we would have had is Rigid, so... Uh, just by process of elimination is what we're going with <laughs> but good opener there for LHS getting the first goal of course this is a best of seven it's a long old way to go lovely pop there from Norma oh. Matteo with a shot on just that little bit too hot to handle it's going to be a 2-0 lead it's early on as well isn't it Solar don't seem to be slowing down from that first we saw there Seb I-D-E-K Trying to rush back and get that last ditch save, but he seemed to slow himself down just at the wrong time. He was trying to protect that back post rather than where the ball was going towards that front. We're looking here at Mateo all the way through to the back board. One more tap could seal it. Noir trying to do it as well. And that is the post denying them early on, but can Seb get a bit of an early response here as well? Two goals down. They need something to start happening for them pretty soon, Zola. Yeah, absolutely. You're looking for a response as quickly as possible just to, to give yourselves that fighting chance to just have a little bit more belief. That's a big chance for Seb, but snatches at it. Could have forced that towards the back post. The last man, Noir, had just pushed into the corner a little bit too late, in fact. Manages to recover. Mateo oh with an air dribble. That's very nearly met by himself, but Johnny Walker follows through anyway, and it will be 3 0. Whoo! Okay, well, I think we can all agree that LHS are not here to mess around, and especially Matteo. Matteo has been the main man on the team, hasn't he? Every single time that a goal has been scored for LHS, they have been there to put it into the back of the net or put in a lovely pass for someone to latch onto the end, too. It needs to be a pretty big response from the Cougars to actually have a fighting chance in this series. With the ball being pinned deeply into that orange half so far. No attacks really beginning for them quite yet and it doesn't seem to be they're going to be finding one anytime soon as the one makes it four. Yeah, it's a lovely cut inside. Not quite red there by Twitch. Leaves Noir with the whole net really to aim at. Bella was sort of on the line but not quite in position to deal with the ball and will be 4-0 now. Such a dominant start from LHS. It's, it's We just need to see something from, from Cougar going down. Here. And Mateo tries to double tap again. Gets connection this time. A little bit too tight of an angle though. 
would have been difficult from that position. Although we've already seen him try that sort of shot more than once in this match alone. Just remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first game of the series. Number one, we have just hit half time. And there's still a long way back for the Cougars to get themselves right into contention. It can take place, but they're going to really, really need quite the massive turnaround for themselves. How are they going to really approach that solo? Does it seem to be outright 1v1 ability that they're losing out on that they need to start almost forcing one player to go ahead make a challenge to force the opposition to lose control of that ball for a little bit of time and that's when they can strike and try and get the ball downfield yeah LHS have been caught out previously and I think have said I mean it's a it's a big chance to to convert themselves but to even have the support from your teammates, a 50-50 that, that might just fall into the right hands to finish it off, could well make the difference in that play as well. And bear in mind, it was only 2-0, I believe, at that point. That gets you right back into the contest in game number one. But so it's interesting. They're, they've got a defender that sits very, very deep here, Cougar. And you can understand why it does seem as though they are up against slightly better players. But... To have wow. a proper rotation, you need all three players involved. Mateo, four goals they've been involved in now. Two goals, two assists to the name 5-0 now. He's ridiculous, isn't he? You were just talking about the team play, but LHS don't need to provide us with any of that. Although, to be fair, four of their goals have had some sort of assist gifted to them. But that's not really the main focus, is it, anymore? Maybe this could be a big chance. A goal coming through. Oh, it is forced on in. Bella will get the first, finally, for the Cougars. It's it's a starting block. It's a foundation on a building something. Game one may just be a little bit out of their sights. It would have to be a goal every 15 to 16 seconds, which is <laughs> a very tough ask for game number one. But that'll pick them up. And it can certainly give them confidence and a little bit of momentum going into game at number two. LHS aren't invincible. They can be broken down. Bella has found a way to do just that. Johnny Walker in the midfield sends a shot flying towards the goal. Mateo once again takes to the sky. Flip reset all the way through. He doesn't even need to use it. And that is a setup for the one, the only Brazil. Yeah, one goal away from that. Bates and two. Bella so close to making connection on the save. But your luck's not in. It's just not quite there at times. Unfortunate for Cougar Gold. So they just get to have to pick themselves up once more. See if they can maybe get a second at the very least deny this Brazil. Because let's be honest, LHS will start looking for it. That's a mistake from Johnny Walker. Recovers to block Seb in the end. They've... Got a little bit confident. Maybe getting a little bit too ahead of themselves, LHS. I mean, 6 1 up, why not? But the best of seven, you're not going to want to get too far ahead of oh. seven. Puts one on. Denies a chance at the Brazil 6 2 now. Late on, the Cougar, Cougars do come alive and start showing their true colours, really swiping back at LHS, which is a good thing to see. I'm quite glad that they're not just going to sit back, take the defeat and mess around. They're putting in the effort to make it work. We're already seeing Primus making a lot of saves. Three to their name. Sev and Bella, the two players, getting the goals for this team. If they can start making these attacks slightly more potent than what, what they have been when they've got the ball downfield and actually getting the ball to be put on target, there is a big chance for them to really start getting in the faces of LHS. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as we've seen, they're not invincible. Maybe they did get the goals there on the backboard and on, also seem to be slowing down from that first. Back, said has a chance sort of earlier on the game when it's only 2-0. So it's not as though it, it's a similar scenario with, with the final two goals where, you know, LHS are just playing a little bit more relaxed. They're not worried about the goals going in. If Seb scores that, it, it could well prove to be a very, very different game. And the fact they have got two goals out of that one definitely makes for, 
you know, something to take away from it, something to build on and, and hopefully see them push on to, to take it, at the very least, a couple games out of the series. Well, Bob the Builder may be the person that they need, but they also need to try and help themselves, hammer themselves into shape as we go on forward. LHS, though, they just need to keep on doing what they're doing. They are nicely setting themselves up to progress further on into this grand final. And now we see the teams take the field once again for game number two. And already it's actually been a bit of a mess up on the kickoff, unless it was a planned idea from LHS, Mateo looking for the central ball. Primus though, want to set it out wide. Noir a bit too close to the ball to actually make a consistent and powerful touch. Now again to the center of the park, Primus. Oh, Primus his name may be, but that ball's right in the center. Look who it is that gets himself up to it. If the name is Mateo, you know it's a goal. Yeah, Matteo, from what I can tell, anyway, the highest ranked in the lobby at Champion 3. So, not really going to pass up an opportunity like that. But let's be honest, that's a fantastic 50-50 from Johnny Walker as well. Just to touch on what happened on that first kickoff, actually. As soon as um, LHS got down the other side of the field, I did just have a little quick look at the scoreboard. All the pings were showing zero. So, I think straight off the kickoff, it act the server itself did lag very, very briefly, and that's why we saw um, what we saw coming off of it. One, you know, game's not not entirely flawless, it can't always be so, you just got to uh, play the cards you're dealt otherwise and, and get on with it, but 1-0 the scoreline with a minute gone, Cougar gold, still very much within touching distance, but someone's got to be following up on that one, they're not going to get anything out of this way, so well, let's hope that in some hand within the team that they do have a pair of aces as that ball goes straight to the middle. But that shows that the side that has the highest hand is going to be LHS once again. The pass to the middle. Johnny Walker there. He's going to put that in every time. Yeah, Mateo returning the favourite. I'm sorry, in fact, it was Noir that one. Two touches to the backboard. Just a little bit too quick for Cougar goal beaten out and unfortunately for them seeing themselves conceding a second. They've been in this position before though. Can they look to pull one back a little bit earlier this time around? They've got three and a half minutes to do so. Plenty of time for them. If there's any support here for Primus, there's not. Saying just a little bit too deep. I think they're a little over concerned with conceding more goals. We're really it doesn't matter if you concede a couple more goals. If you don't score any, you're not getting anything out of this either. Exactly, or just sitting back and defending to send yourself to overtime. But that threat is never there for LHS, which is why they look so comfortable and composed at the moment here, Solar. Nothing has gone against them in the run of play. There's been a couple goals which have been a little questionable that I've managed to leak on through, but for the majority of the time, they have been unreal on attack, and that is a perfect example. Yeah, Noir again with a fantastic pass. This time in field, no use of the boundaries of the pitch. Just slots it low and hard across net, and it's easy for Johnny Walker. Slam home. Primus did challenge, but not quick enough out to that one. 3-0 now. The scoreline and Matteo looking okay. for the double. That's brilliant aerial control to make it for Matteo stealing the show here. Ooh, he's like a Formula One car with that sort of agility off the wall, straight onto the backboard. And guess what? He pummels that ball home to just finish it off 4 0. And we're not even at half-time, Solar. LHS really starting to come alive. And I'd already thought they'd given it their all in the first. But here we go. As I say, LHS are turning up. So are the Cougars. There is life in the cats. Yeah, Primus beats out too there. It's a fantastic beat as well in the midfield. Again, LHS maybe just get a little bit overconfident. Double committing on that play, but... You know, you've got to take your chances when they come, and Primus has done just that. 2.20 left on the clock now. It is still 4-1, but they already find themselves in a better position than they did at this point in the previous game. 
Absolutely time for a three goal comeback. Johnny Walker sends oh. it high. Noir will send it home though. And that does make the task just a little bit harder. It is a pretty difficult terrain for them to get across now. Four goals needed. But there's still a lot of time left here, Solo. Two minutes and five seconds on the clock. All they need is one big chance. They seem to be more prepared for these kickoffs that LHS are trying to create. As they are quite clearly the team which are inventive with the way they want to go forward, aren't they? They like to try and be creative in their attacks. Change things up as you see Mateo again just going straight to the sky. He goes to the left. He goes to the right. He loves to play the passes. He loves to play the shots. And just the Cougars cannot see anything to do with it. Yeah, and that is the difficulty. Is, is sort of not knowing what's coming next. You have to deal with every single play in Rock League. Individually treat it as its own entity. Because if you start to try and recognize patterns yes there may well be some to it but such a, a volatile game where with everything being physics based no two five minutes in rocket league will ever be the same that is an undeniable fact about this esport so you've got to be prepared for just about anything it can throw at you some may seem like luck others may seem quite calculated but you make your own luck at the end of the day. Mateo has just been left with a wide open oh. net. Shoots to the far post for, for a bizarre reason. But I don't think he's going to be particularly concerned being four goals up with 40 seconds to go. <laughs> it did just seem like it could have been the nail in the coffin. Well, I think they've already placed that win. And, and oh, here we go. This is it. Yeah, done. <laughs> as soon as you talk about that nail, it has just been placed straight on the box. And it oh. is all done and dusted. That was a bit of a misflip. And confusion with where the opposition were. And no respect to really go for the ball. And understand that there's a possibility to be beaten. The speed wasn't quite there. But they're still giving it a very good go. It's not looking as decent as the last game was but this is an also an opportunity to understand oh, what your opponent is as they do get a late goal well played to primus as he sees that one all the way in that's a fantastic shot from minfield likes an air roll shot you can see why it generates more power than just a regular flip would have done there does well to beat noir out for a second time in this game and um, once again it's an empty net there but Maybe just again a little bit too late. It, it, again, it's got to give them confidence though. They are finding goals here. They've just got to try and tidy up the defence a little bit. And, and Cougar goal can again look to take games off of LHS. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. In this grand final, best of seven, LHS take a solid 2 0 lead. There's a big fight back for Cougar Gold. If they want to try and have a chance of crowning themselves as the champions of Rhode Island. But so far, Solar really doesn't look like they have any sort of chance to be able to make a big turnaround. Just the mechanics and the talent that they have on LHS is just levels above what we've seen so far on the side of Cougar Gold. But Cougar Gold, they can really utilize their team play can't they we've seen a few times that they've got a long clear downfield almost use the disrespect that's coming out of lhs to their advantage and really make them think of like above about how they want to carry on approaching the game yeah absolutely i think lhs are, are very much in control they, they've got the the team chemistry going mateo can can take it solo as well which is always a, a dangerous threat to have and, and it's always asking questions of Cougar Gold. That's what makes this um, so difficult for them is finding, you know, the way through, um, the way out of their own half, sorry, is you have to look for these big clears. The issue with that, of course, is you tend to then give possession back over to your opponent so at that point what do you then do you start leaving a player upfield do you look for passes to work it out do you try slow the ball down play these 50 50s and, and and try and keep possession there's lots of different approaches to it but for the most part 
you know, you've you've got to find a game plan, something that beats this team. Will be Mateo. Good first touch, keeps the ball close and fakes out the second. Noir with an absolute bullet towards the net. That is ridiculous. What a shot. Yeah, it really picks the spot towards the back post there. Bella just doesn't quite catch the trajectory of it. Sneaks inside that far post. It will be 1-0 to LHS. 31 seconds gone here in game three. Early lead once again. But now what you want to see is a comeback from the opposition side of Cougar Gold. Who just had their first big sighting on net. But Primus seeming to want to show off what he can do as a solo player. Putting a few twists and turns in the air. A pirouette if you say so. As that ball again goes across the other side. Mateo up the wall. He wants to now show what he can do. You know this is dangerous every single time you see it. He can't quite make contact. So Primus does get that first clear. But Seb will be the one to extend it. Primus actually turning that towards a goal. Seb with a chance here to shoot. Mateo up nice and early. Takes away the danger. But it's still not over. Onto the backboard. Primus again a chance to shoot. He can't get the shot off. Couple of good chances there. Just not quite taken. But it's a promising sign at the very least for Cougar goal. Primus doesn't need to touch that one though. Good save at the near post from Seb to keep it to one goal. And I tell you what, what, I was about to say damage limitation here for Cougar goal. They haven't conceded nearly as many in the early stages as they had done in the past two games. But I tell you what, for the first time in a stretch of game, they are level here. It's always good to see that they managed to turn things around. But once again, the disrespect, as I've mentioned previously, Really shining on through. Another long clear downfield. Initiates the attack. And the engagement on that ball was enough to secure a goal. To bring it back to level terms. And that boom again. Making it difficult for Noir. Now Bella. Chance to take her time. Down to the left. Can't beat out Mateo. Now Primus. Sends it back forward into that blue half. Mateo sends it into the midfield himself. Now Noir, Boomer towards the net, over the bar, but Noir with the cover-up, the second chance he had, he took it all the way in. Yeah, absolutely, it's a fantastic ball to the backboard, Bella stranded, and that is such a difficult spot being you jump, and um, attempting already to get up, by the time you land, next touch has already come in, you've got no momentum to make the save, Noir has picked his spot rather well, Johnny Walker with a shot straight on, Great turn for Good Bella, it's time to clear it out into the corner. Keep that to just the one goal deficit again, but still, LHS are prowling, they're hunting, they're waiting for that sniff at blood, the chance to strike, to extend that lead, to try and secure game at three, put themselves on oh, four save. championship points. They are sharks in the water, but the Cougars are ready with their harpoons. If they get a little bit too hungry for a goal. Primus here. That's a demolition all the way into the corner. Oh, but Primus himself does get taken off the field. That shot though, looping towards the goal. Nearly once again tying us up. What an improvement we're seeing here from the Cougar Golds. They really are trying to turn things around, Sola. Yeah, absolutely. A lot better shooting um, oh. from them. And they're very unfortunate, in fact. To have not equalized here. I mean, you could maybe say LHS, unfortunately, not to extend their lead as well. But here comes Mateo. He's up. He's looking for the double tap on the backboard. And he gets blocked out by Johnny Walker. I'm not entirely sure it was on net. But I know in that position, I would have been devastated to not have seen where that ball was going. Still here, LHS. Struggling to find a way out of their defence, but Johnny Walker will be the player to supply that prayer. Now Noir onto the backboard, wants to try and get another pass into the middle, but can't beat out Seb. Now the ball loose in the centre, picked up by Mateo. Mateo searching for the double, nearly gets himself up, but Bella, a defensive masterclass from the player, has really held together this team of Cougar Golds. 
Yeah, save your medal there for three this game. Absolutely crucial to keep them within it, touching distance. That's a big miss from Johnny Walker. Mateo has tied Bella with a fourth save of the game. Mateo, for as prolific as he's been so far this series, just cannot seem to find a goal in game number three. 25 seconds to go. Cougar Gold still down by one. They need just a sniff at goal. Something that can give them life in this game, in this series as Primus goes up. Gets beat out. Johnny Walker with a clear. It has to be one last push. It has to start with Seb. He can't force that pass. Bella, no touch on that long ball. Primus sends it long. Can it stay oh. up? Absolutely not. LHS will take game three. But that was nowhere near as comfortable for them. Absolutely not. That was a really good fight from the Cougar Golds. They have really shown up to the show late on, but at least they are here and ready to play now, bringing the game to their opposition. And most of all, Bella, with a stunning performance up the back, so solid, the brick rolling in front of the goal that nobody could smash on through. So hopefully that sticks but we now need someone to turn it down the other end and be that attacking threat which I've been asking for for so, so long. And the player that looks most likely to be that is Primus. If Primus can start getting those shots off towards the goal with a little bit more power, that could be the answer to them taking a game back in this series where they now need a full reverse sweep. That is what's on the cards but will that come on through? Mateo has switched to the Scarab. Could this be a little bit too much confidence getting shown as this game number four is underway? Yeah, it's, uh, it's not pretty Scarab there either. I mean, not that any Scarab is ever pretty. Johnny Walker <laughs> with a uh, preset change as well now in the Dominus looking for the demo on Bella. And oh, Mateo has put oh, that the wide. Unbelievably <laughs> so as well. Net was gaping and no goal. Oh, that was the Scarab all in all in its glory. Missing a wide open net. What else could you expect though, really? Couldn't you, Sola? Every single time you see a scab on a pitch, you know some sort of carnage is going to go down. Oh, that's a big miss from Seb. So, so close. The net was screaming for him to put a shot on, but he couldn't quite make contact. But look who was in the defense again. I don't even need to say the name anymore because you know exactly who it is on Cougar Golds. Yeah, but again, stand a job keeping them in this one first minute comes and goes no goal here for LHS so again it's another improvement for Cougar Gold they need a reverse sweep here four games in a row to be crowned state champions of Rhode Island but it's a long old way to go Bella the touch towards the backboard straight at Mateo here he is again he's up he's looking for oh. the double he makes connection <laughs> Slots it under the bar and 1-0 LHS. They are so, so close to being crowned champions. What is it about Mateo? Whenever he has an easy shot, he misses. When he has the most difficult one to make, he hits it perfectly every damn time. Mateo, he is a different world being at this stage, Solar. He has been the main player on this team from the word go and has really set the field alight. Is he going to do it again here? He has to boost an attack. He sets it to the ground. That was a little bit too extravagant for him to be able to make it work in some sort of fashion. As they're now still on the attack. 1-0 is the oh, scoreline. No, it's not. It's now two. Again, that air roll so, so crucial in taking those shots. Noir just gets enough power on it to slam it high. It's a, about picture perfect in terms of the spot that Mateo picked out just 24 seconds previously. Brilliant finish there. 2-0 LHS. They want to close this out in four. And can you blame them? They have arguably been the better of the two teams for all that Cougar Gold have put up the fight. Maybe just a little bit too much when asked, but they're not done yet. Half the game to go. They're searching for a goal back. Mateo actually playing it a little bit risky towards their own goal line. 
Now Primus with the 50 to the midfield. Bele getting themselves up at the ball but can't get the all-important touch away. So Primus does come along and support their teammate. Bella again. Closer to play. Gets the 50. Lovely pinch away as well. Using the opposition's car to every single use that they could think of. Mateo now up to the sky. This is dangerous all the way oh. through. He takes it home. Smooth as you like. Yeah, sensational car control and ball control as well. Keeps that so close. Pushes it clean over the top. Bella had gone up. Seb can't recover. And it is 3-0 now. Mateo star the show MVP of the series so far. And he has two more minutes to oh. do what he likes. So close on that toy, but just wide of the far post. You say that Mateo is your MVP, but I'm going to give mine over to Bella. I think Bella has put on a stellar performance as this series has progressed. Really knowing what their role is in the roster playing the defensive game doing their job wonderfully and now really starting off an attack early for themselves and couldn't get the finishing touch there was Seb Mateo he has showed us what beautiful mechanics look like smooth silky beautiful is what I would use to describe them every single time he's up to the ball you know that something is going to happen whether it is going to be a little bit of chaos or it is going to be as buttery as you could ever ask it to be. Seb here in the middle. Bella there to try and get that follow-up shot from the through ball. Now Mateo. Johnny clearing the way for Mateo to keep him running it down. Bella is beaten out, but Primus spawns in at just the right time. Primus again, touch to the centre. Mateo flying across and sends that ball flying away. But Seb actually set it right back to the middle. Bella with a chance. Oh. Can't get the shot off. So, so close. And it's sad to see. But sometimes that's what happens in Rocket League. Yeah. Whoa, that one's going to go the distance. No, Johnny Walker can't get back. Bella has pulled one back. There's light at the end of the tunnel here for Cougar Gold. They need two in 45 seconds to keep this series going. But that's one step closer. Closing in on... Hopefully taking us to a game at five. Mateo with the 50. Noir on this left-hand side. Staying close to the ball. Beating out Bella. Double tap. Nearly going on through. That would have been a wonder goal for him to score. Couldn't quite turn the ball in to be on target. Mateo sets it up for Johnny Walker. Johnny to the backboard. Who else is there? Noir with his chance to shoot. Saved by Primus. And now Bella down the other end. Gets the pinch. It looks like it could be lofting high above the goal. Seb gets himself up. Nearly oh, dropping committed. it down. But Johnny gets to the all-important clear. And the second one too. That is going to be GG's. Ladies and gentlemen, your Rhode Island champions, L. H S. Yeah, no denying that one. A 4 0 sweep from them here. That is a fantastic performance. And all credit to Cougar Goal. They put up a very strong showing. But when you're outclassed, it is as simple as that. You are outclassed. 4 0 winners are L H S. And they, as Swiss has said, are crowned your road. Island champions. They will be going to the play versus Cup to meet very, very many teams right across mm -hmm. the states to see who will be crowned domestic champion of high school Rocket League. Whoo! Well, I must say, LHS are really looking like one of the teams to be able to go and do it, but that is only something else that we will be seeing in the future. LHSRL A team are your champions for the Rhode Island tournament. They have done a brilliant job, haven't they, Solo? But that is going to be all from us tonight. So thank you very much for coming along watching for this Play versus Tournament. My name has been Swaces, and with me, Solar. What a time it has been, and we look forward to seeing you once again very soon.